Welcome back to another sneak peek, guys. My name is Chief Pat, and today I'm going to be showing off the Grand Warden on defense. Now, we saw the new hero on offense yesterday. He had some pretty awesome abilities, but it's safe to say on defense he's going to pack a punch as well. So let's go ahead and check out an attack right now. So as soon as the battle begins, you can see that the Grand Warden's going to run to his platform and turn into a defensive statue. He also has the life aura around him on defense, so the king and queen, since they're within the aura, they're going to get an HP boost, as well as any clan castle troops, skeleton traps, all of those things will get that same HP boost that you guys saw on offense. So not only is he going to give that boost out, he's also going to be able to do damage just like any other defensive building. Similar to an archer tower, he's going to have a ranged attack that can attack both ground and air. And you can see him shooting down some lava pups. He's going to be shooting at the dragons and balloons. And he actually does a pretty decent amount of damage. So it seems like he's going to be strong on defense. I really like how they're switching it up and not just making him another thing like the king or queen on defense. And also, I'm going to show you a quick clip of a golem attacking the statue just to show another point. So he's going to be just like any other defensive building, which means that hog riders are going to target him, golems are going to target him, giants, balloons, all of the things that prioritize defenses will attack the Grand Warden on defense as well. So really awesome stuff to see this guy on defense. It's going to be... Pretty interesting to see how people work it out, whether they want to make sure their king, queen, clan castle troops, skeleton traps are all within that life aura because it's going to give a nice little boost to your defenses and it should definitely help out a lot. So that's going to do it for the Grand Warden. You guys have seen him on both offense and defense now, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about him in the comments section below. It's going to be pretty awesome to see some three-star attacks that people can pull out with him on offense, whether it's trying to stop those double giant bombs when you're using hog riders, or maybe even using it to heal up your hog riders when they're attacking Inferno Towers. Uh, it's going to be crazy to see how he affects the game, and I can't wait to see him out at Town Hall 11. So that's going to do it for this sneak peek with the Grand Warden. Looks like we still have some stuff to go. They haven't showed off the new defense fence yet so I would imagine we're going to see that sometime soon but you guys are going to have to stay tuned until the next sneak peek make sure you subscribe for tomorrow's sneak peek should be a pretty solid one and until then I will see you guys later peace out